everybody. Welcome to Smells Like Teen Horror. My name is Eric Kasloff, and this is another DVD, Blu-ray, and book haul. Today it is just three DVDs and one book, and let's start off with the one I really can't wait to watch most, and that is Drive Through. Let me give you a good. Okay, all I I saw this one a few years ago, but back when I was living in LA on um on demand, the sound with that particular on demand channel was messed up, so watching this was a struggle. I then I did end up watching it again, and I absolutely love this movie. All I can tell you is a slasher dressed up as a re restaurant mascot going around murdering people what more could you want from a movie um the dvd is pretty bare bones nothing special on it at all which really stinks but yeah i love this movie i will definitely be reviewing it next from the creator of final destination a writer who i'm very fond of and of course i can't remember his name so I'm going to put it right there. I love the Final Destination movie. So when I found out he wrote another movie and then turned it into a book, I knew I absolutely had to pick it up. And this is Tamra. Um, Tamra is the goody good shoes girl at school. She has a major crush on her teacher. Oh, she's also bullied. I should have mentioned that. You probably got that, though, from saying she's the goody good girl. So she has a major crush on her teacher. And some of the kids who bully her play a prank on her by saying that her teacher wants to meet her. The teacher wants to meet her at a hotel room. The bullies are in the other room. Even a girl who she's friends with is there. Something goes horribly wrong and... Tamra dies, but then comes back to get revenge on everyone. Um, I never finished watching it when I first saw it, so I knew I had to buy it. So, yeah, I picked it up. Okay, this next one. Man, this is a weird story. It is the April Fool's Day remake. Uh, a lot of the same creative team, the same producer... Of the original April Fool's Day, who did a lot of the Friday the 13th movies, was behind this as a producer. Now, I love the original April Fool's Day. I have the uh, Scream Factory Special Edition Blu-ray of it. Love the movie. This, on the other hand, I'm not sure. I mean, it feels like the kind of movie that would have been made by a local tv station in texas that airs on sundays when the cowboys aren't playing but yeah it's not a great movie at all i wouldn't even call it a very good movie it's okay and you know it's a early to mid 2000s horror movie that's what this channel is all about so i had to buy it Next is the only book that I purchased, and it is The Lake. I listened to a little bit of the uh, audio book, now this free sample on Audible, and from what I can understand, it is about these two girls who are best friends. They used to be attendees to this summer camp, and something very, very tragic happened that they've tried to forget about, and now they are back at the camp much older as counselors and something bad's going to happen. I'm hoping it's a slasher or a supernatural kind of book. Um, I will be reviewing it once I'm done reading. Okay, um, that is pretty much it. Quick question. Have you read the book or seen any of the movies that I talked about? If so, comment down below. Now I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. If for some reason you like this video, please hit that like button. I hear it really, really helps with YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I got a question for you. What are you waiting for?